What an opening. What an absolutely astonishing opening, but I wasn't expecting anything less. Thanks again, Dave. This video, we're gonna be opening a ton of Masters packs, as well as some of my favorite sets in history, like Onslaught. Let's get cracking. Welcome back to Matt's Kraken Christmas, and we have a lot of goodies to go through today, including Onslaught, Innistrad, Darksteel, Gatecrash, Ravnica, Eternal Masters, and Modern Masters 2017. Why don't we start off with Gate crash and return to Ravnica, and then we'll do Modern Masters 2017. We'll do Eternal Masters, and then Innistrad, Darksteel, and of course Onslaught. Really excited about that one. Okay, let's start off with Return to Ravnica. Let's make sure this is in focus for everyone. Yes. All right, really excited about this. Let's get cracking. Okay. What was your favorite pull from the last Matt's Christmas Kraken video? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. I definitely think the Vampiric Tutor is probably mine, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Okay, let's see what we get. All right, Oak Street Innkeeper. It's our first uncommon with an Assassin Strike. Treasure Find, and we do have a Guild Fiend. Feud is our rare in this pack with a Goblin token as well. All right, let's see if we can get a Shockland at least. Maybe a Cyclonic Rift, that'd be really sweet to pull. Let's see what we get. Okay, we do have a Skyline Predator. Is it Charm? Great Uncommon. Rakdos Ringleader, and we do have a Precinct Captain. Not a bad rare there. Rhino, token as well. Next pack of Return to Ravnica. Come on, we gotta see at least one Shockland out of these six packs. Let's see if it's gonna come out of Return to Ravnica. And what do we got? It is, ooh, it's a land. There we go, Overgrown Tomb, very nice. We are starting off really, really well. Okay, Overgrown Tomb, no foil. Let's put those aside. This one is sleeve worthy, anything over $10. I'll try to remember to throw into a sleeve. Very, very nice pull. All right, Gate Crash, you got some living up to do. We did. We already saw a shock land. Let's see if we can see another one. All right, let's just get to the juice. Okay, let's see. What is it going to be? Blind Obedience, not a bad rare. Not a bad rare, actually. And then we get a Foil Adaptive Snapjaw. Let's put the foil over there. All right, not bad, not bad. At least we got a foil as our first foil from this opening video. Obviously any of the rares over a dollar, any rares or foils or uncommons over a dollar, I will add them on the screen so you guys can see the value. Okay, here it is. What is our rare gonna be? It's black. Crypt Gas, one of the best rares in the set. We will definitely take that. I'm not sure, I don't think it's over $10 though. It might just be a little below that, but oh my God. No way. It's a land, it's a foil land. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, my heart was in my throat there. Simic Guildgate, oh God. Oh, oh well. Oh, well, at least it's, uh, well, it's not bad. At least we got a foil in that pack. I mean, we got a Crypt Gas as well, so we can't really complain. Okay, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. All right, call of the Nightwing Fire Fist Striker. And what is our rare or mythic going to be? It's another land. Oh, stomping ground. Yes, there we go. Amazing, amazing pull. Very Christmas as well. Green and red. Why not? Like Christmas colors, you know, not too bad to pull a shockland like that in this video. And uh, we have a island as well. This is going in a sleeve. Definitely a sleeve worthy pull here. Two shocklands and six packs. That's pretty, pretty good. Cannot complain about that. Oh, why is this not in? There we go. Get in the center. There we go. Beautiful. Putting that up top, okay. Now we're gonna crack into some Masters packs, starting off with Modern Masters 2017. Okay. Let's see 
What do we get? Love this. Definitely my favorite master set of all time. Let me know what yours is down in the comments. Okay, we got a Seaside Citadel with a Sprouting Thrinax, a Wing Splicer, and a Rare Cruel ultima Ultimatum. Okay, we'll take that. We do have a Common Foil Rootborn Defenses as well. Okay, all right. Well, we know we can do a lot better with Modern Masters 2017 than that. Jeez, not even a single good uncommon in there. It's definitely very hit or miss, though, Modern Masters 2017. Uh, you, you definitely gamble with these packs. Orzov Signet, pretty, pretty nice. With a Serum Visions, another good uncommon. And a Balith Cage Trap. It's a rare. Ooh, is this a Scalding? Yes, it is! Scalding Tarn! There we go! Amazing, amazing pull. It's down to around $30, $35, I think, right now. So definitely nowhere near its old price point, but we will take it. We will definitely take that. And we have a Foil Common Talon Trooper. Okay, this is uh, going in a sleeve as well. It's been a land kind of opening so far. All of our best pulls have been land cards. Scalding Tarn will be added to these sleeves as well. Not a lot of cards were worthy of sleeves in the last opening, uh, but this, this so far, this video has been pretty, pretty nice. Not complain. Okay, let's get straight to the juice. Hope you guys are all having a great holiday season. I'm, uh, I'm pretty good. I think I'm doing pretty good. I mean, this is definitely helping lift my spirits and get me into the holiday spirits, that's for sure. Demir's Signet, and then we get, a, oh, that's going over there, what am I doing? Uh, Agent of Masks, we get a Tower Gargoyle, and it's a Mythic! Ooh, Past in Flames! Not the greatest Mythic, but nonetheless, we did finally pull a Mythic. Very, very cool. Alright, and what is our foil? It is a Foil Common Magma Jet. I don't think this is sleeve-worthy. We'll, we'll put it over there in a slightly better rare pile. Okay, ooze token as well. All right, not bad, Modern Masters 2017. But now we're going to see some Eternal Masters. And this set is just, yeah, un unbelievable pulls you can get, especially in the Mythic slot. So let's see, can we pull one of those insane Mythics? I don't know, Mana Crypt, maybe, maybe? What do you think, guys, Mana Crypt? I, I think that's possible. I think that's very possible. We got Harmonize. Prodigal Sorcerer, a.k.a. Timmy. And then we get a Mishra's Factory as well, now uh, now available in mod the modern format. Yeah, it's legal now. Starting things off with a rare Maze of Ith. Okay. <laughs> That's a pretty good card. I think that might be sleeve-worthy. It might be around $10 or, or more. So we're going to sleeve that one up. But let's see what our foil is. It is a foil common nature's claim. Not a bad foil. Okay. All right. Another one going in the sleeve. Maze of Ith. That is awesome. Yeah, again, all of our sleeve-worthy cards have all been land so far. That's crazy. Are we going to get anything? Maybe an artifact like Mana Crypt? I don't know. I don't know. I really hope so. Really hope we see it. Blood Braid Elf, another good uncommon. We got Pyroblast, another good uncommon. And a Phyrexian Gargantua, not the greatest uncommon. Oh, it's a rare... Sinkhole, okay, not bad. I don't think it's over $10 right now, but pretty good rare, pretty good rare. Foil Common Curd Ape as well. Okay, here it is, last pack of Eternal Masters. Come on, come on, Mana Crypt, Force of Will. Both of those pulls, can we see one of them? Okay, we got a Timber Watch Elf. We got a Beetle Back Chief. Hydro Blast. Good card. Oh, why is that going over there? And please be a mythic. Please be a mythic. Oh, it's a rare. Ah, oh, Neverall's Disc. Ah, oh, you can't win them all, but is it going to be a rare or a mythic here? Another foil common, Blossoming Sands. Yeah, definitely a very hit or miss with this set, unfortunately, and we didn't really do it there. But we have a few uh, Innistrad packs. I was about to say Onslaught. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm very antsy for that. Innistrad. Will we see Liliana? 
or a Snapcaster Mage. That'd be very fitting for the channel. All right, let's get straight to the juice here. Mask of Abyssin, Spectral Rider, Full Moon's Rise, it's Red, Stormkirk Noble, okay. That's actually pretty decent rare. Not worth over $10, but we'll take it. And we got a Wolf, nice Wolf token there. And a Uvenwald Mystics, an Island, and a Foil Rotting Fen Snake, okay. Not bad, not bad. On to the next Innistrad pack. Yeah, the, I don't have really good luck pulling uh, cards in Innistrad, I have to say. Out of all the Innistrad packs I've opened in my life, I haven't really had the best luck with this set. Hopefully the luck will change in this video. We got Cellar Door here, Gallows Warden. Is that, okay, so yeah, a rare, it's gonna be still, okay, Stony Silence, not bad. Definitely modern playable, good sideboard card. Put that over there with the decent rares. Then you get a Civilized Scholar, Forest, and a Foil, another Foil, Frightful Delusion. Oof, that looks amazing in Foil. Look at the eyes there. Wicked, okay. Last pack of Innistrad. Let's see what we get out of here. Okay. Lumber Knots, we got a... Graveyard Shovel, Silver Inlaid Dagger, and please be something spicy. It is red. Devil's Play. Once I saw red, I was like, eh, it's not going to be that great. Okay, so that's going over there. And we get a Reckless Waif as well. Okay, that was a little disappointing, but we have the juiciest packs to go here. Dark Steel and Onslaught. Yep. This is what separates the boys from the men. Let's see what we can get out of Dark Steel. Oof, old packs. Very hard to open up. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay, we got Echoing Decay, Petron Ghost, Arcbound Worker, Vidalkin Engineer, Reap and Sow, Spire Golem, Crazed Goblin, Arcbound Stinger, Magnetic Flux. Remember, we can get some really good uncommons in this set. Like, uh, you know... No big deal. Aether Vial, Arcane Spyglass, Viridian Acolyte. Uncommon, first uncommon pack is Fireball. Ooh, it is an artifact. Oh, it's, it's a creature though. Core Trap, okay. Core Tapper is pretty good. And we get a second sight. What are we gonna get in the back? It is a Flame Break, is our rare. Not the most exciting. Not the most exciting, but we still have a few more packs to go. Can we see? Yeah, these old packs. Oof, wow. Wowza. Can we see an Aether file in the uncommon slot? Shouldn't be too hard to pull, but, you know, it, it's... Yeah, it definitely is uh, one of those kind of uncommon uncommons, I guess you could say. Darksteel Citadel. Hallow. Mirror Land Shaper. Then you get an Oryak Siege Sled. Psychic Overload. Ooh, we do have an... Oh, it's a creature, though. Yeah, it's an Arcbound Fiend. All right, all right. And what do we got? Ooh, Pristine Angel. Not bad. This this is uh, reprinted in Conspiracy as a Mythic. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Do you think it's Mythic-worthy? I don't think so. But uh, Dark Steel, last pack. Here we go. Oh. Old packs, really hard to open up. Ooh. Okay. Ritual uh, ritual of Restoration, Razor Golem, Quicksilver Behemoth, Tell Jalad Wolf, Volshock Morningstar, Petron Ghost, Vex, Arcane Spyglass, Nourish, Drill Skimmer, and our first uncommon. Oh, no, wow. Okay. A scavenging Scarab, and our first uncommon in the pack is an Arcbound Fiend. We've seen that, was it the th second or third time already? And we do have an Angel's Feather. Can we see? No, we didn't get it. We got Oxidized instead. Oh, well. Not too bad. Ooh, it is a... It's an artifact. Sword of Light and Shadow! We did it! We did it! One of the best cards in this set, and we pulled it! Amazing! Sword of Light and Shadow, yes! We did it, guys. We did it. Okay, let's put that in a sleeve. Definitely a sleeve 
worthy card. Wow, amazing. Protection from white and black. Amazing pull. All right, here it is, guys. Last three packs, and we're talking Onslaught. We're talking old, old school, even older than Darksteel. We potentially could also get an old frame foil here. Will we see that today? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we get. Okay. Love this set so much. Daunting Defender, great for tribal as well. Goblin Taskmaster, Sage Aven, Crown of Vigor, Shepherd of Rot, great card. Foothill Guide, Well Wisher, and then we get an Accursed Centaur, Unified Strike, Swat, Swat in his face right there. And then we get a Dive Bomber. I think this should be an uncommon next. Yep, Improvised Armor. We get a Snapping Thrag. And we get a doubt, Doubtless one. Okay, we'll take it. And what are we going to get? We can get the old... Yeah, we can get the old Fetchlands here. But this is green, but there's some good green cards here. Weird Harvest is not one of them. But nonetheless, not a bad pull. Not too bad. All right, next Onslaught pack. Ooh, this makes me nervous opening these old packs. Oof, that one didn't open the best. Maybe that means we're going to get good luck. Okay. Birch Thor Rangers, Anarid, Merc Diver, Sandskin, Nosy, Goblin, Brightstone Ritual, great card, Crown of Ascension, Elvish Guidance, another great card, Disruptive Pit Mage, Tranquil Thicket, Complicate, okay, Rummaging Wizard, Chain of Acid, Chain of Smog, I think, is, a, is the better chain. It's gonna be... Oh, it's blue. Ooh, Ixodor, Reality Sculptor. Not bad. This uh, this card popped off about a, two years ago, and it went above $10. I don't think it's at that price now. But, yeah, pretty good wizard legend here. Face down creatures get plus one, plus one. I think this went uh, up in value with that... Uh, what was it? The Faceless Menace deck or something? Uh, from Commander 2019, I think. Yeah, so... Not bad, we'll put that over there. It's a decent card. Okay, comes down to this last pack. Here we go, Onslaught. Hope you guys are enjoying this video and hope you are having a fantastic holiday season. Let's see what we get here. Profane Prayers, that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna pray. Deru Healer, Goblin Sledder, Mistform Mask, Symbiotic Elf, Anarid Merc Diver, Siphon Mind, Break Open, Information Dealer, Pacifism, if this is not an uncommon, then it means that we did not uh, get a foil in this pack. It's okay, so we're not going to get a foil in this pack, I don't think. Forgotten Cave, then you get a Fright Shroud Courier, Chain of Asset again, no Wirewood Lodge, come on. Next card is a Feeding Frenzy. It's blue. It is an artificial evolution. Okay. Well, you know, that's what happens. You know, when you open up old packs, that's, but you know, if you have a YouTube channel, why not open old packs like this? You know, why not? Wow. That was amazing. Some decent pulls here, guys. Um, we got Crypt Ghast, Past in Flames, Sinkhole, uh, Stromkirk Noble, Stony Silence, Ixidor, Reality Sculptor, and uh, here, here are the big pulls, almost all lands. We got Maze of Ith, Sword of Light and Shadow, Scalding Tarn, Stomping Ground, and Overgrown Tomb. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Thanks so much. Like, honestly, Dave, like, incredible. Really. Like, this was such a treat to open up, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, including you. Um, yeah, geez, this one really got me nervous. Opening old packs especially. They're always a trip, but yeah, we, we put put aside some decent cards here. I think we did okay. I think we did okay. It could have been a lot worse. That's one thing you have to remember when you're opening old packs. Can't It always can be worse um, for the most part. But yeah, wow. Incredible. Thanks again to everyone who's watched this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys 
and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.